Hi again, welcome to my second tutorial on Erlang. I'm teaching you as I'm learning Erlang. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the basic types. I'll be starting with the integer types. Integers can be any size. An example would be you can always use base 16 as well the 16 hash is just to show it's a base 16 type next we're going to talk about the floating point numbers Sometimes they can lose precision occasionally. Occasionally, an example of a floating point would be, or if you want an integer division, the space between the div is necessary, or else you're going to get a syntax error. Also, to a modulus of um, the integer remainder if you want to get an integer remainder we use rem I'll provide some link below to give you other other things you can use with the integer or the floating type now the final thing I'm going to talk about would be atoms atoms are non-numerical values they are similar to enumerated types they're global. They start with lowercase letters and contains only alphanumeric values or underscore or the hat symbol. An example of an atom would be don't forget the period symbol as well. Or If you put anything else in it, you're going to get a syntax error. Syntax error right there. You can also use values that contain spaces or start with capital letters by using a single quote. So That's the end of my tutorial for today. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.